Hey. Oh my god, it's you. Hey man, how's it going? God, it's been... What? Five years? It's been forever, man. Are you, are you busy later? In like an hour? You're not? Great. Meet me in the park outside of Free Vest Clothing, alright? See you then. Here you are. Nice to see you again. It's great bumping into you earlier. Sorry that we couldn't chat there and then, but I uh had to be somewhere. Balance zero 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 ten remaining. Hold on, just gonna add some more talk time. Balance zero two five zero zero remaining. Yeah, I know. Don't give me that look. <laughs> it's, I know it's the super old model, but I've had it since I was 16. It's been sturdy and faithful, so why replace something that ain't broken, right? Exactly. So, how are you, man? What have you been up to? Still living in Green Hill? Awesome. I always loved that place. Are you still seeing, uh, what's her face? Uh, you're not. That's a shame. Sorry to hear about that. When was it? Five years? Wow. What? You two must have been going out for what? Nearly ten years. Ah, sorry. Didn't mean to uh, add the salt. Uh, let's forget about that. Um, what are you up to these days? Where do you work? Wow, that sounds like a fun place to work. Not really. How come? Your boss is a complete tool. Well, that sucks. How much talk time do you have? Not much. Mm. Man, what happened? Last time I heard you were living it up. You were making a mint. What's changed? Ah, your girlfriend. Alright, ex girlfriend. Sorry. She locked you out your own bank account. Left you with nothing. M man, that's harsh. You have barely any credits left after bills. Wow. Have you looked for other work? You can't afford to quit. Ah. Interviews require in-depth explanations and you don't have any spare talk time for it. I understand. Would you like some spare credits from me? I'm happy to lend you a few. No, 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 I insist. At least let me give you some talk time for now. A couple of thousand words won't break the bank. Here, pass me a talker. Balance, zero three zero 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 remaining. Here we go. Balance. Zero. F ah, a little present from me, man. Let's keep this conversation going. What do you mean? There's lots to talk about. We haven't seen each other in such a long time. So much must have happened. Come on, let's talk about it. Alright, I'll start. <clears throat> At the moment... I'm developing a software that converts thoughts into words. That sounds big, yeah. And it will be. But it's in its early stages. And I have a thunder. <clears throat> an Asian company 
became really interested in finding a way to communicate without the use of words. Electronic telepathy. Basically, that's the idea. Now I'm better than I've ever been. And I aim to destroy that stupid limit law. Did you know, by the way, that the limit law wasn't around 20 years ago? It's only been around in our lifetime. Isn't that insane? This is a problem that our parents didn't struggle with when they were younger. Don't you wish you were born in a different era? <laughs> yeah, me too. Do you ever wonder how different your life might have been if you were, say, born 20, 30, 50 years ago? Would you like to know why I've decided that this is my course in life? It sounds dumb. But it's because of my childhood. You might not even remember it. It must have been so small for everyone else. But to me, I feel as though it was all my life was. Do you remember when we were younger, right? Did you ever notice that I never really spoke? That I barely said a word around people? Did you ever find that weird? Yes, I was shy. But that wasn't the only factor. My family wasn't the richest family around. You know that. We struggled. My education was limited. I never went on field trips. I never followed the trends. I was quiet and lonely. This wasn't intentional. And loneliness isn't really something people want. Yes, we were friends. But we only started being friends in the last year of school. That's a long time to be alone. Now, it was whilst at school that the law came into place, if you remember. The rig law. Or what most people called it, the limit law. Everyone was made to start wearing those stupid necklaces that recorded every word you said. And after a current daily allowance was reached, it would numb your vocal cords and boom, you couldn't speak until the next day. The law was meant to prevent waste. They said how much time was wasted on unimportant things, on unimportant conversations. How much time was wasted getting to the point? With this in place, every word choice was important. As you don't want to waste your allowance, they said. And they were right. No one wanted to waste their allowance. Now certain people, depending on occupation, had different allowances and most of this you will know already but when we were younger if you remember we didn't have much we maybe had a couple of thousand words a day basically we were meant to be observing and writing down and studying our words were meant to be for asking questions or asking for help or giving answers whilst in study and that was about it. But you see with me, I was shy. And that was a big problem. Balance, zero one zero zero remaining. Hold on. Balance, zero two. Yeah, that'll about do it. Now, why was that such a big problem? It was because no one at first talked to me. I was a poor kid. 
didn't know much about the latest games or movies or sports didn't listen to the latest bands so not much in terms of common ground so I didn't talk to people much but what I did do was talk to myself now this was the start of a big problem as the years went by I talked to myself more and more and eventually I would just talk up all of my credits before even going out the door beep 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 all gone great now I can't talk to anyone I would think what happens if someone asks me a question I won't be able to respond I'll look rude or stupid I best not get into any conversations or situations where I might have to talk to someone until the next day or until I can top up but topping up was for people that had money and like I said I was poor so what was I to do? couldn't talk to people because I was talking to myself too much couldn't afford to top up so I spent years in silence on the perspective of others I was not talking to people that doesn't generate a lot of social skills not talking to people and like I said it made me lonely now when I met you I'd already gotten myself by some miracle a small job a paper route this small weekly income paid for me to have a little extra talk time credit and I used it as pathetic as it sounds on you I spent them on getting to know you becoming your friend now I thought you would reject me because I didn't know any of the trends or that I was known as the person that never talked to anyone but you made an effort with me and our friendship grew you have no idea what that meant to me you had no idea you thought I was shy and you still do now but when looking back on it your friendship was, and still is, the most important thing to me. But I noticed that you didn't go online, like everyone else did. Like I did, even. You didn't seem to follow the trends. And that's ironic, really. So it made it really hard to find you, when everything cleared. And my life got better. Now, your work, you hate it. I get it. Would you like a gift? Say I give you 40,000 credits in talk time. Now, that's quite a lot, you may think. But that's not just it. I'm going to give you that credit once a week every week until you get a new job yes <laughs> I want you to use those credits to find work use it for interviews use it to really sell yourself my friend because you deserve it you deserve a better life how do you feel about it the idea of getting a better life That's fantastic. Well, let's shake on it, okay? This is a gift. On the understanding that you use those credits to give yourself a better life. And at the end, when you've made it better and you've found new work and you're going to quit your job, I will give you an extra couple of thousand talk time credits for good old-fashioned fuck you rents. Just lay into them. 
lay into that boss. Make them sorry for the years of torture you've endured there. Sound good? Awesome. Now, pass me a talker again. Balance. Zero. Have fun, my friend. Here's my number. You're welcome. Now, let's meet up again sometime. Give me a text, and we'll organize a date, okay? It's been good to catch up. Catch you later.